Hello, everybody. So this is a very brief demo that um, I will be giving to you all using the Digital Library of the Middle East. The Digital Library of the Middle East is a standalone spotlight instance um, hosted by uh, Amazon in the cloud. And uh, we also refer to it as DLME. DLME is a collaboration between CLEAR, the Council on Library and Information Resources, and also the Qatar National Library and Stanford University Libraries. And uh, this is the production instance, so I want to be really careful here. Um, we are in the next week or two going to be rolling out this new feature to, um, to Stanford's instance of exhibits, but it's not ready yet. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to demo on dev because I'm worried that it might be too slow. So um, many of you may be familiar with who are who are intimately familiar with uh, building exhibits know that sometimes you have content that is so rich that you have you can have seemingly endless browse categories. And Sometimes that can be really overwhelming to users or uh, you know, as curators, um, you may really want to direct your users um, in, in a particular way. And so we've had numerous requests, I think over the past year or two um, to create browse groupings. Um, you might also think of them as browse subcategories. And what you're seeing here on the browse landing page, in this case, which was renamed Explore, um, you see the browse, um, the browse groups menu at the top of the screen here. What you're looking at now is all of the browse categories together, but um, uh, the project manager here decided that these four categories were the first ones to be added at this time. So there's a recently added category. Um, there is a category just for manuscripts one for art and architecture, and one for photography. Um, and let's take a little look behind the scenes at how you would set that up if you were building the exhibit. So if you were, if you were building the exhibit, you see here on um, your browse category tab, Right here's a list of all of your browse categories, and some of some of them here um, are are not published because the project manager is, uh, you know, that's sort of at his his discretion, and he's still working at fleshing those things out. But you'll notice here now there's a new tab called Browse Groups. So if you go to Browse Groups, this is where you would add a new group, and you would just enter in uh, enter in the name of the group here click save and it would just show up here in your browse group list. Then if you have a browse category that you would like to add to a browse group, you can, one of the ways you can get to that is to edit your browse category. And you see the tab here um, uh, titled group. You come to group and you should see a list of all of the possible browse groups that you could add this browse category to. It's really pretty simple. It's nothing more than that. And Gary, would you like to add, add anything? Uh, I think you pretty much covered it. I guess I'll, I'll, one thing I'll say here on the page you're at right now, I mean, it's pretty obvious because these are checkboxes, but um, a browse category can be added to more than one group. Um, so it's basically a many to many relationship, you know, uh, categories can belong to more than one group and a group has, of course, uh, multiple browse categories. So um, hopefully that provides people with uh, a lot of flexibility. Yeah. Right. Um, any, anything else, Gary, that you, you think that I should highlight here? I don't think so. Like you said, it's a pretty simple feature. I mean, it took a while to get the right design to make it feel simple, I think, but um, it's basically just, as Kathy said, the whole goal here is just for people to have a lot of browse categories um, instead of having a whole list where things are kind of mixed, um, 
try to make the, it easier for users to focus in on the, the type of browse categories they are, they're interested in. Great, um, I think we have time for a, a question. Does anybody have a question? I guess, Kathy, while there's, yep. well, we see if anybody has any questions, I'll mention one other thing that just occurred to me, just to be super clear, it's probably as clear, but this feature is entirely optional. Um, it doesn't change any, um, there's no like upgrade you have to do or whatever, essentially, as Kathy showed, it just adds two tabs to the existing browse um, section of the admin. Um, and, you know, if you want to use them, you, you use them as Kathy demonstrated. If you're not interested in showing those filters and just keeping your browse categories page as it was previously, then there's nothing you have to do. Um. Great, that's a good, good uh, distinction. Thank you very much, Gary. If we don't have any questions, I am gonna go ahead and, um, and stop this demo right now.